What's up everybody, this is Cakes and welcome back to yet another devlog in which we discuss why my game sucks or used to suck and how I started on a journey to improve it and make it much much better and more engaging and fun. I started playing Vampire Survivors recently and I noticed that when you play a mission in the game, even though you lose, you still gain something and I even talked about that in another devlog before. Now in my game, when you lose a round, you lose everything. Item drops as you can see in the round, you have gold that you collect during the mission and upon successful completion, you unlock a new hero. Now all of these things are taken away from you if you don't manage to beat the level. And so you're effectively wasting your time while not getting anything out of it. And after playing Vampire Survivors a couple more times, I realized that even if you spend time in the game, it is never wasted. So I thought about how I could apply that principle to my game. The first thing came to mind that I should keep a percentage of the gold earned as a reward, even if you lose. That way you can progress towards meta progression and potentially get stronger overcoming a hurdle and you always feel like you're progressing. Additionally, it feels bad if an item drops and you take it away from the player. So I implemented a system that rolls on every item that was dropped and then decides whether to keep the item or not. The downside of that system is that it's pure RNG and you could potentially still lose your item that you worked so hard for to get. I was also thinking about giving the player a choice to keep at least one item and then maybe that choice can be increased by investing into better progression but I'm unsure where to go with the items upon losing missions yet so if you have any suggestions feel free to tell me about them in the comments maybe you have some idea that i didn't think of yet next on the list i noticed that the flying enemies which have been a part since the very beginning of my game it's basically the very first enemy that i drew and kept until now the design of the enemy is very simplistic it's a simple circle that just flies up and down. It's bad because you can't really relate to the enemy, if that makes sense. So instead this week I started reworking these enemies and replacing them with actual enemies that you have in other games. And I know that is very common, but I added a skeleton enemy and started rigging the animation using pixel art rigging, which basically means you draw the limbs, you draw the body and you draw the head. We have simplistic colors, all of different colors. And I'm pretty sure you have all seen the pixel art tutorials on how to animate. First, you draw these simplistic limbs. You make them move in the motion that you want. And once you think you're done with the motion, you start playback and then you fix any minor details that you think should be improved. Then once you're done with that, you start detailing the sprite and you keep the reference from the previous frame and copy it over to the next, keeping as many pixels the same as you can so that you don't have any pixel jumps where one pixel all of a sudden becomes another one in the next frame because that looks weird in animations. And yeah, that's how you create an animation and I'm pretty sure you, many of you have seen that. If not, now you know. By the end of that, I had a very menacing looking skeleton that could walk, attack and die. And additionally, once I was done with that, I thought about why not add in another skeleton, which I call Boner. Yes, a Boner, who tosses bones at the heroes at a cooldown. And this guy is going to replace the terribly designed rangers who used to just stay there, locked in place and barrage you with arrays while you couldn't do anything because they would just fucking move. Because I didn't program them in a way that they would shoot advance and shoot and so these boners will replace them and then hopefully get rid of this annoying mechanic which i think is just terrible game design there's no gain in skill if you defeat these enemies and i'm glad they're gone now and then finally as i said in the last devlog i worked on the pirate ability and so we did a pull on stream and actually the parrot ability won so the pirate will spawn a parrot the parrot will fly to an enemy and then once the parrot is there, he will attack the enemy, deal some damage, pick up a coin and then bring that back to the pirate, or which will increase your gold by three. And then as you level up the ability, the coin increase and the damage both increase. Believe it or not, this simple change sparked a chain of changes later down the road, which I'm currently working on, which I will be talking in the next devlog. So this week was not that busy when it came to actual changes to the gameplay and to the game 
Yes, I added a new enemy. Yes, I added a new ability. But it sparked something and made me realize what it actually means to make a very interesting, engaging and fun tower defense game. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned until the next devlog, which will take a bit longer to do because it's very important to me that it's a good video and I bring across the points that I want to bring across in a good way. This is all I did this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned until the next one. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you to all my Patreons. I really appreciate your support and see you on the next one. Peace.